How's it going? So I'm making this video as a proof that when you use context, reusable context, that when you alter the values inside of one instance of a context, other instances of the context are not being affected. So, okay, it's very complicated what I just said, but I'm going to break it down. So we are going to create a reusable context, okay? So it's going to be like somewhere created, just, just a file, okay? We're then going to take this reusable context. We're going to create a new file, which is called block1, okay? So this block1 is going to be the component that's going to use the context, okay? Then inside, we're going to put two components, component1 and component2. So component one and two will have access to this reusable context values. All right, so just, just be aware that it's gonna be the wrapper. Um, I'm, I'm gonna ignore the property for now because I'm also passing the property, but forget about it. All right, so then we're gonna create and we're gonna put this into the UI. So this is gonna be one block inside of our app, all right? Then naturally what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a second block, like this block. We're gonna take the same context, we're gonna put it in here, wrap it inside of our, it's gonna look like this, inside of our two components, which we're gonna call, I don't know, component 1A, 2B, I suppose, right? And then it's gonna be our second block. So in here, we're going to have count and set count. Both of them are going to have access to this count here. So now the question is, if I change the count in here, will this component re-render? Because they are using the same context. And the answer is no, because just like a reusable component, if you change properties or states on local level, so this is going to be local level in here, it will not affect all other components. So just think about a, think about a button component, okay? So button component, inside button component, we have increased count. When you create multiple versions of this component, when you click in one of the UI, not, none of the instances get affected. So this is reusable, and then you have it in a lot of different places, right? So when you click button, this button, these buttons do not get affected, even though they are the same component, right? So now let's actually build this, right? So, okay, I already done that. So here is our reusable context, here is our count, we have um, you can probably ignore this stuff but long story short this is our context right so this is our context now we're going to create block one so this is our block one so we are importing this um, this reusable context as a wrapper so there is the wrapper we can probably just ignore this for now, okay? And then, this is the wrapper, and then we're creating two more components, just random components, and then we're putting them inside of reusable context. So naturally, to access the values that are in here, we need to uh, use context, which is this one here. So obviously, we call it in here, and we get access to here, right? Okay. Now, I'm not going to explain how this Mumbo Jumbo, like, the setup, because I'm assuming this is already covered, right? 
because I'm just making the video like the purpose of this video is just to demonstrate that changes so look we have count displayed in here and we have in the second component we are changing the count so since these two components are sitting under the same wrapper whatever I do in here or in here is going to affect the whole block so just remember they are we're talking about this so whatever I do in here is going to affect everything in this block but not affect this because this is a different wrapper so again I recreated my block 2 which is exactly the same as block 1 only the name is different right so then we're putting the block 1 and block 2 in here and this is what they look like okay so here's the count so this is block 1 here's the count and in component 2 we have the button to increase the count and in block 2 we have in component 1 the count which is the same count which is in here but block 2 and block 1 are two different instances of the same context you see so there are two instances of the same context so now the question is if we click we do the magic click will this count change and the answer is no it will not because you see re-rendering happens only in block one you see only block one gets re-rendered well in the beginning there's two renders of the block two but when we make changes only in block one it happens but the count in here does not change Likewise, we can create a button here to change this count and it will not affect this because we're just, re it's like a button, do you understand? The like context is exactly the same as a standard. Under the hood, there's just use state and it's being reused and that's about it. Like it's just, it's, co it's completely standard React component. So whenever you, you just create a lot of instances and they, they work independently. So let me just show it to you. So block two, let's create. A, so we have count in here, and let's just create a. Let's just create a button. Whoops. Not sure it's correct. So let's create a button. We we'll call it increase in the lock. So, so on click. I'm gonna do uh, we need our value and here we have the function name and we're gonna run it oh whoopsie I need to add the count which is count from here plus one Actually, we're going to do plus two, just for the just for the crack. Now, honestly, this button can go into either components because they are under the same wrapper, so it makes no difference. So you see, in here I put the button in here just for the fun, fun of it. But you can create a third component and put the button there, it makes no difference. Bottom line, but they have to be wrapped inside the same block for it to work. So now, where is our magic? Okay. So now look, we're clicking, this is not being affected. We're clicking, this is not being affected. So now block 2 is only being re-rendered. So we go with this, only block 1 is being re-rendered. And that's about it. So this is just as a proof that you can create reusable context and it's not going to mess up your whole app. Just FYI. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.